welcome back and um for a few dollars more i can get uh the socket attached to the cord and have a removable cover to focus if i want or not although i did learn uh how to do the wiring myself so the sockets they had were not the type you plug in to the other end of a cord like let's see I'm not sure where I put it anyway uh, she said you cut it and you're gonna have two cords and when you open this up there's gonna be two screws you take one uh, strip of that metal cord to one and one to the other and then tighten the screws to hold it I'm like, are you sure? Because uh, I hate to start a fire. <laughs> um, anyway, she says it's a lot easier. Uh, you know, you really can do your own wiring, but I didn't want to do it. A few, few bucks more. Uh, I'll try to see how it works to get over this that's strobing. And when I get up early in the morning and I have a strobe light, honestly, it's very difficult to work and oftentimes I'm up in the middle of the night and I'm, I'm here to put some notes down and it, I just you know the strobe just makes it uh, it makes it hard to focus and so while I was out I got a lovely burrito I'm going to be eating that but I'm going to put this video on pause some coffee And um, I have some uh, thoughts to talk about uh, with the latest news. So we'll see. Maybe eat the burrito or do a little bit before and after. It's so funny. This dress that I made, uh, the fabric was really originally intentioned for Minnow when I made him a little denim coat uh, with uh, denim with white hearts and dots for the sash and the underbelly. And uh, I thought, oh, it'd be cute to do him another, uh, make him another uh, double layer uh, spandex shirt. Uh, thinking that it would go great with the denim, his little denim jacket. However, uh, then I realized, you know what, I like this fabric, and so I made this dress. This dress doesn't fail to garner compliments just randomly all over the place. A uh, guy on the bicycle, hey, nice dress. <laughs> it wasn't lurid. <laughs> or, you know, when I was grocery shopping yesterday, um, a person that worked at the grocery store, when I popped a wheelie with the cart to get it onto the sidewalk rather than walking out of my way to take the, the smooth uh, indentation. I just like pop it. <laughs> He's like, well, that was pretty. What did he say? Smart? I don't know. I said it. It pays to think like a child. <laughs> Let's get right to it. <laughs> you know? Well, he said... That is, a, that is a very nice, uh, is very uh, nice dress. He said it's attractive on me. I said thank you. Um, the start stopped telling people thank you. I made it, but um, I still get a lot of compliments on it. Just kind of really awesome when you think about it. Uh, I might be making more. I've got the pattern now. Pretty easy. Uh, uh, you know. Last time I drafted the pattern, so I made the pattern and started to whittle it down to my shape and specifications. This time I just need to copy it if I want to do another one. Let's see, notes to talk about. Actually, I think I'm going to put a pause on this video and see if I can't get a proper light and eat my burrito too. Burrito is lovely. It's um, quinoa, sriracha, eggs, and cheddar. 
on a on a wheat uh, wrap. And the quinoa is kind of a uh, nutty, kind of earthy, very nice comfort food. Feels so appropriate in fall. Um, Curiously, one of the things I want to, uh, one of my little tasks to do today, um, I'm trying to think of uh, the food I need to buy for the eight weeks that I'm going to be here with my foot up, mostly, and not going shopping. And uh, ironically, I suppose, conspire, <laughs> uh, conspire, ironically, um, I don't know how to cook eggs. Uh, when I was four years old, I watched uh, Charlotte's Web with Wilbur the Pig, and uh, I stopped eating meat, and through through process of association, well, uh, the cow is Wilbur's friend. <laughs> so I'm not going to eat the cow either. <laughs> And basically, I stopped eating anything that would look back on, at me. But as a child, if eggs were, or meat was, if meat was in the form of a hot dog or patty, uh, I may eat it. Uh, eggs in cakes or cookies, definitely eat it. But I never learned how to make eggs. However, uh, the next day after my hysterectomy in the hospital, you can order food, and I had a, a lovely vegetable frittata <laughs> and, uh, and a side of um, fruit, and that sits really easy after surgery. So I thought I should get me a dozen eggs and learn how to make frittata or something. <laughs> So that's one of my minor tasks today. Learn how to cook an egg <laughs> or, or a frittata, <laughs> some comfort food. I might have to practice pre-surgery for post-surgery uh, on my bunions. <laughs> so this is curious. I just got an email from Travelocity. I've not traveled by plane. Uh, well, I was I did go to New York a couple times. I think that was more like I want to say 2012. Um, yeah, I'm not checked into Travelocity forever. I don't think I use Travelocity to go to New York either. So um, that's a very odd email to get. I don't even want to click on the un unsubscribe. They want me to update my uh, my profile. Since when? <laughs> you know, we may be talking six or ten years. Uh, six to ten years. I may have used Travelocity to go to Europe, uh, Italy, I believe, if I remember, was about 2008, 2007. I think so, about that. So, yeah, a little behind on the update your profile. Really don't understand getting that. Uh, webs, uh, that's on, at Twitter. Uh, basically, I've unsubscribed from them several times, and I still get their emails. Now, if I were to show you what happens when I unsubscribe, so here's this webs. I want to unsubscribe. I've already unsubscribed. Contact our support team. It takes me to a page that doesn't exist. So you know what? The, it's, their subscription doesn't work. 
in terms of unsubscribing and if I want to contact someone that doesn't work either now uh, the next thing I can do take me back to the home page if I want to contact someone at webs I have to log in and I'm like you know what I'm over this bullshit it's very gratuitous that you think you get to add dong and song to go odd go odds song and dong on me without ever representing anyone inherently capable l e a d all right it's it's the, the gratuitousness a uh, nest hyphen t it's obviously overworked and i tire I tired doff it. I'm tired doff it. I'm tired of fitting stupid. I'm not here for your stupid splendor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your spen, your pen, your penis sty eyed, ID hyphenated. I'm not here for that. <laughs> Tat or hat or he a route I fact. Heart effect? He around? No, I'm not here for that. So let's talk about let's talk about the law. The law is suffrage. To, for all people to frame and doffed, to, to end off, you're framed stupid, you're framed to mend and amend doffed, to carry on, to tarry and carry on, because the law is not actually teaching value, E-W-E-A-D, with its presence to honestly screw the tooth that you speak to, T zero w h o um we can take for example the latest news is uh a harvey weinstein and that he seems to be the head off it <laughs> to to top and 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 basically write the script for every woman to seek him so that they can be, be screwed through Thief and tooth. Uh, his presumption now, he doesn't have anywhere to honestly go, and y'all are giving him uh, the value for no reason to sew and show the H O, the ho, hyphenated, okay? I am not advocating that what he's doing is great or wonderful in the terms of does he represent. Uh, go odd and the people under God in the law. Well, he does with hyphens. Okay, now understand the extent of it. That's all he can do. Uh, but then you have his lawyer, Lisa Bloom, who basically, what did she say? When the news broke, she was upset that that Whatever organization broke the news and uh, that they didn't give Harvey a chance to respond. Now, her grafting on a response to Harvey, where she presents it as staging a choice, you didn't give him a chance to respond. Now, there's a couple of things going on here that's not actually but benevolent. Uh, one is if you're going to advocate free choice, Harvey had free choice all along, and he didn't choose it. Now we got Lisa Bloom that's positioning herself as the value that speak to. She didn't speak to. She didn't S P E A K T. She didn't speak the time for completion even. And then we have Donna Karen, a fashion designer, who's like, well, those women 
uh, you know, uh, maybe it's the way they're dressing. They're asking for for it, meaning the, the negligence of, of Harvey Weinstein's choice. Yet it is curious to me whether uh, Donna Karen followed it up that, that that quote was taken out of context or not. Uh, the point is, doesn't she position people at the fashion, fashion wise to be alluring? I mean, her whole premise as a fashion designer is to tool a look. If she was not articulate in tooling a look <laughs> in today's fashion industry to compete for no reason to force the hook, you shook and suck a crab. S O O K. A uh, hyphen T. Sucked topped. Okay. So so she can bear a tooth that she speaked of. Speak to do of the heads to do of ID. No, no, this is all fiction for fantasy uh, that your said S A I D has an L in it. S parentheses L A I D. But you laid the L as you speak. You didn't. You're just hogging the news. What else? I'll see if I can't put notes on this video. I'm now working through the sensitivity of my third crown. Burrito and eggs, it's great. Crunchy food, uh, you know, got to dance around the palate a little bit. Um, my dentist noticed that the filling that she took that metal out of where there was more filling, more metal than actual tooth, um, they sheared off the side. And what that did is it's kind of been making my mouth, she says that there's, um, like top and bottom teeth, the occupant ocular that they, they basically hold them in to grind and mine with that side sheared off has been causing it to kind of um, go off to the side and and I, I mentioned that you know that I've noticed and I think that's part of why I had to get the other crown because uh, the tooth in front of okay, so the tooth that uh, broke under under the uh, the gum line fix that the one in front of it was crumbling and I think that's part of that because my bite has been off and I start, it's sliding laterally. But I mentioned it to her that, yeah, like I noticed like kind of like the wrinkle formation on my face is not symmetrical. And I'm thinking that possibly that, you know, how I chew has something to do with that. You know, over time, you know, uh, the the grooves that you use you know so that seems to make sense to me anyway she also worked on so the the crown my third crown is on the bottom but she also filed the top so that it had as best as i can tell as a layman more ocular contact to lock and chew uh, rather than <laughs> fall off so I was very happy that she had the, the experience and the vision to be able to work that and fix it in the moment, knowing that, you know, going forward, it's not just enough to uh, prepare uh, the tooth that she took that big metal filling out of, um, address that one side was missing and was sheer, and to be able to build it up to support now the, the tooth on top to be able to match. So she was, you know, she asked, she's like, you know, when was your last clean? I haven't seen you since, and it's been over a year. And I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm electing to have my cleaning done in Portland. They have a New England dental school uh, student. So she says they do. And I said, yeah. 
And I said, I don't mind giving, the students take longer, but I don't mind giving them the cleaning. They get their hours. And she, she was, she, she, she understood that. I said, but for someone with this type of work, I said, I want the person with skills. <laughs> That's it. We just go with skills, you know? So put the crown on, got to have skills. And skills to have a vision for the future. It's not just simply putting a crown on, you, you know? So again, that was uh, watching her uh, very efficaciously work in the moment, wield her, her, her tools and uh, hit a desirable outcome right on the head. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pause for a moment and eat my burrito. My dentist sent me a survey. It just came. Let me see if I refer a friend. So Emma Y W U Emma Wu. That's my dentist. I recommend her. She's in Danvers, Mass. <laughs> To me, Lisa Bloom uh, saying, oh, you need to give them time to respond. I'm like, you know, you're just drafting and crafting ad hoc, hyphenated for all your worth, okay? It's the, the uh, notion, put your hyphens in it anywhere you well like, hyphen T, is to keep um, keeping uh, your word as for play and for pay hyphen T. All right, uh, you got to keep it in action to look like you're deserving, but you're uh, you're mitering time from the people that stand for it. I thought that was very subtly, very rude. You didn't give him time. You're not the uh, position of politeness. You're not speaking tooth. You're not speaking to the night. You're not speaking for two. All right. Uh, you're promiscuously presenting hyphenated to to get it back to you hyphenated so you can add it to your your resume to continue to screw hyphen okay <laughs> it's very subtle staging to advocate politeness when you've never given it K N I T, and it's very subtle positioning to advocate politeness when you've never given it to and it's very subtle positioning when we understand that you're not really capable, even through, in your cur hyphen rent income and calm. You know? So let's talk about Harvey Weinstein and his, um, his droning on that he's uh, getting counseling. Your counseling is amending doft to too toft. Someone's getting rich off of you, Harvey Weinstein, for no reason. All you're doing is buying a hyphenated mediary to, um, to ameliorate and provide a better image. You're not making any difference at any given time. I only bring this up 
and I keep bringing it up because I need you all to understand that my value is necessary. It's utterly necessary. So I've created a parallax. I've created a, first of all, a framework. A framework in fretwork. I've engineered it in essence to represent it. And it is utterly necessary for follow through even to not fifen, uh, ebane, <laughs> okay, v a i n, and to illustrate the differences that if you don't consider me a value among you to be supported for your tooth, you have no one to 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 talk to. You have no one to speak through. And and in the process of not really caring to your sustaining abuse. You get to cast everyone in a role other than your fucking Jesus Christ, for God's sake. Okay? Your ag in the law hyphen T is sustaining the war, is sustaining ID to Dow with war. All right? To return that as a value because obviously you aren't teaching anything else, no matter what you say. Our convictions in the law are for the people under God. Well, you're forging and fudging. Uh, DG, DeGratio, thank God you're forging and fudging a third person that is stupid as you are to to talk. That talked is the head that that is to be brought, okay? You, you, in what you sell through the marketplace to Dow with War are not selling your value to restore AD. You're not doing it. So you need to see that. Uh, stop uh, tooting, tooting Toft, the rich person, that, because Toft is setting the law for no reason, okay? To, to be a trial balance by bigot. B-I-2 hyphen G, grace and gravity hyphen T. Hyphen O-T. Uh, uh, over time. <laughs> So you got the counselor playing the third person now. Well, I'm going to rehab Harvey. What you're going to do is you're going to set up artifice again to don't cross this line, Harvey. That's not politically correct. Here's the thing. If you don't want to, you should wear your own value uh, because I'm going to offer it to you. What else? If you don't want to, what you're making happen is you're forcing someone to take care of you. For no reason, through. And should that video have frozen up, that is uh, in, in parentheses, sorry, in quotations, meaning it's an illusion a value. You look at it, it's not real. It's R-E-E-L. If you're not taking care of yourself to C2, you're forcing to be taken care of two by two, hyphenated through. So stop forging a third presence as, as Jesus Christ and go odd, unless you are Jesus Christ and or go odd. I was, I was thinking about, I listened to uh, Jonathan Kainer, which is now Oscar Kainer in the UK. Well, I think it's, it's Kainer, C-A-I-N-E-R.com. Jonathan uh, has passed away. Uh, but he did, uh, so you listen, you hear me listening on Friday, his astrology for the different signs. Uh, sun sign and moon sign. He did those recordings before he passed away. And uh, I think it was my moon sign, uh, Virgo, uh, which is uh, Virgo in the ninth house, and so is my Mercury, Mercury in the ninth house. And I'm a Libra on the cusp of Virgo, and my Libra's in the ninth house. And I've got a couple more signs in Virgo. 
in my chart in the ninth house, and I've got a ton of Scorpio <laughs> in the eleventh house. And what else? Uh, Libra, the Sag rising. Um, my 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 Mars and Venus is in Scorpio. Um, what else? The Virgo, Virgo moon, if I remember right, was something about you're thirsting for water in the desert and people keep trying to give you a tie. <laughs> you're like, I'm thirsty. Do you want a tie? <laughs> and, then, and then the scenario that he, he unfolds is, uh, well, then you come to this place where they're like, well, you can only come in if you're wearing a tie. So um, I think, ladies... I think at the very least uh, we need to uh, perhaps read between the lines, uh, start seeing fit, and seeing who who is fit. Now, stop stop speaking on on the conundrum, which is just stirring a pot with hyphens to get a different conviction. Fifend, you know, you need to start selling yourself. No different than me, and. Um, if, unless you have something better, uh, I would consider um, that I'm making the time, the time for completion, even, not for competition for no reason. So, you know, understand the, the foundation and who's actually making it and what is that value they're making it with. <laughs> I'm not trying to be seen like, gosh, who can we talk about? Oh, Scarmucci? <laughs> Look at me. I've got a penis. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are we accomplishing here? <laughs> Except that you think that you're, you're right to uh, parade your penis sty eyed an ID hyphenated is the Sir, sir Reprise, the Sir Sire Reprise, <laughs> hyphen D. <laughs> I, for one, am not interested in that. <laughs> if, if men are all frame and docked because the ag the law for the people under god is dallying with war and condoning war please understand women you're being put in a container you're in a container docked stupid to too topped rich so if you are married to the rich person you're actually standing on the estate of docked stupid that's paid to stay docked in a say docked and he gets back up from a lawyer like Lisa Bloom, who, who advocates politeness that she's never honestly lent tooth. Okay, nor can she. And maintain her current income. For no reason, she hasn't actually uh, brought reason or shown it even, even vent. Okay, she's not teaching. Uh, she's soliciting a value that she she prostitutes, and she has to prostitute uh, to be worthy of her hyphenated convictions to pursue hyphenated convictions, deep and through. She's simply a master of keeping the be all <laughs> the the T hyphen parentheses B hyphen A L L keeping that rolling okay uh, the guy at Aurora provisions I was like there was one breeder left I said but they have these lovely raspberry scones so I'm standing at the counter in front of the raspberry scones, and I see the little burrito over there next to the panini station, and I'm like, I can't decide, burrito 
or scone. And he said that uh, he just had the burrito today and he really liked it. I'm like, fine, I want the burrito. <laughs> and he's right, it's really, really delicious. <laughs> uh, men, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be considering uh, getting on the framework for completion either. I simply read into the Caner's astrology is, well, who would a tie be with? Actually, um, a tie would be, we're going to recognize to rep and reap, peat and pleat, uh, R-E parentheses A, P parentheses, parentheses L, E-A-T, um, we need to do that uh, at O and E, that at tone. We need to do it one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, removing the pretense that we've already earned the right and given the right. Um, what we have right now is we have W with hyphen, R-I-T, hyphen, E, e -bang. <laughs> okay? Your writ from the law is thief end. See, thief end doth the two top on every woman, that a woman needs your protection for no reason. So what I'm getting at is uh, firmly addressing the law does not protect my right as reason and desire in life. In fact, it works very much against it by stealing my time and my value uh, to, uh, to pursue in the marketplace for completion, even through, even vent, even through. So even true, even R-U-E, rue in Paris. <laughs> Um, it's building false egos. You can check my previous videos with the officers that stalked me for my emotions uh, for throwing a frisbee with my dog on the green belt. And four officers came to my house, my apartment, to give me a ticket, and then they made shit up. Well, it looked like you didn't understand us. In the video, I say, I walked away. And you called extra backup. Is that taxpayer money? You know what I mean? So the video of all them, that's on the www.richrote, R-I-C-H-R-O-A-T dot is, I-I-S. Uh, I-I-S is uh, Iceland. Uh, When you buy an Iceland, uh, particularly the domain uh, name, it's uh, their internet laws are different. It's basically protecting my right to say whatever I want. So <laughs> there's a reason why it's there. It's because it's staying there. But it's on the front page of the Rich Rope website. If you scroll down, there'll be that video of Ruth Wiest, a police officer, uh, at my door, and she brought back up and, uh, you know, basically stalking me for no reason, thief end. And I'm not, I'm saying that's not suitable. When you knock, you, you better bring and ring in, especially when it's on my door. <laughs> Basically, you've got a marketplace that's pumping up and plumping up, all with hyphens, the emotions of Jack Doft to carry a gun and then to make any shit up, any malfeasant shit up, to make you speak on Freeman Doft, okay? To two top, to get, to tag the ad, to get tit Toft, all right? Um, I'm manufacturing my own uh, innocence and reflection, even. And that's something the competitive marketplace, for no reason, thief end, down with war, can't do. 
All right. <laughs> so when I say, fuck yourself, you need to go do that and understand you can't replicate. And if you can't replicate value, don't speak as if you would, because <laughs> how I rigged right is you need to speak to the savior. <laughs> S parentheses H A V E I zero R E A D. Uh, by being it, by being the savior, or go fuck yourself, and don't speak of don't speak tough fit because I speak tough fit. I also speak T parentheses zero F by F where T is time for completion even. F by F is framework and fretwork. I'm referring to artistically speaking uh, the positive, my hand, and the negative the shape around it. When we're looking at art, positive and negative value, what makes great art? The positive and negative value, negative value is a shape, and here's the positive, they're of equal value. And uh, the competitive marketplace for no reason, thief and off to two talk, dowing with war that's not actually providing protection for anyone, only anyone, that's, in, that's hyphenated to look like a prime mover when they don't know beans about being capable. L-E-A-D. <laughs> okay. Nor do they want to. So they're lacking desire. <laughs> they're lacking the means to articulate and engineer that desire. They're certainly lacking the spirit to host that desire and they're lacking the faith to give in to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> T, parentheses H, parentheses D, zero, W. With IT, with H, IT. <laughs> Tone, zero, N, E, S, S, T. So, what else? <sighs> For me, the bottom line is providing the ways and means. If you're going to read words, let them come from someone that means some that thing. Uh, your T, parentheses H, I N. Tin is your money. H, your hinge. You speak from thing. You. Okay. A. A determiner. B. B A determiner. <laughs> B E A D. B E parentheses A D. <laughs> okay. Not with hyphens. Sell yourself. If you're not doing that, you're forcing someone to take care of you, all right? Or you're actually providing me to do that as the, the ag, okay? Which is uh, Attorney General and Agriculture, the land. Why am I doing that? I'm doing it for myself so I have somewhere to land because the competitive marketplace is buying up the land to be the land broadcast, okay, around the world, to dow with war, to squat on women, W-O-M-E-N-D, that would become, it would end doft, it would end doft tone, they'd end off stupid, because doft is paid to be stupid all over, a lover, hyphen T, all over the place, okay, so, so that doft can reclaim, and through his vein, <laughs> The A-I-N, he can speak universally that he's providing for women when he's really not. But the reason the psychology of doft to to top for no reason, didn't think even, a D-O-V-E-I-D, 
uh, is so that every woman, for no reason, can be the bride hyphenated to deliver time. Time for competition, thiefen. To survive, to sur revive. Hyphenated. <laughs> okay. Stop feeding doft. And stop glorifying the rich that are feeding doft to be stupid. Stupid ascot. Ascot is a tie. Assot. To tie the lie. Hyphen D. <laughs> a S parentheses S. Sorry. A S forward slash S. Parentheses C O T. So your ascot is assot. You put hyphens in, in that, I'm suggesting thief end. Uh, a lot of times I put a forward slash, a divide between like an S and an S uh, as a way to illustrate uh, within and without. S is C. Uh, you put S with a hyphen, I mean scene, S-C-E-N-E. -E. Um, creating a scene, foreseen, all right? Uh, those police officers knocking on my door were forcing me to speak and redeem myself, Theban Doft to Toft, because there's no savior in the law, hyphen T. Neither is it seeking it. Uh, that would be the debt that we would owe the debt that would be apparent. So Lisa Bloom is not speaking for the Savior for the night. Uh, she's staging, not innocence, she's staging blight. Blight is a spore, okay, for sport and port. It's all hyphenated. She can't be innocent and continue to earn a value because uh, her value, in essence, is not a value. To value. She has to keep speaking to keep things rolling. All right? You could say that about me, but I'm actually leading. So you don't get to go ahead of me and I don't get to smell your ass because your ass is not in front of me, honestly. <laughs> did, you, did you want me to say that nicely? <laughs> I can say it nicely, but mostly what pronounces on my frame is to be like, excuse me, you need to submit. <laughs> In your name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because you need to bring the brains you weren't thinking of to even through. And that is utterly obvious. <laughs> you weren't meaning to. That's not what you're staking your value on. And it's obvious. <laughs> I'll get to a, uh, a kinder, gentler approach uh, because I realize I need to do that. Um, let's suffice it to say that it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be enough on its own. I can already be plenty nice. Uh, what does it get me? It gets, for instance, officers thinking that they have earned my value for their throne, okay? So uh, being uh, peeven, even, uh, being peeved is, and, and with target, namely, uh, and countenance, and counting with accountability, I'm using my name too. 
um, I'm illustrating that uh, this hyphen T does not suffice. And uh, as my value to build on, uh, the value to face, nice. And if you want it sliced, you'll be slicing S L I C E A D. S L parentheses O V E I C E common era A D. I give way seed at C E D E. I give way to A D. And it's obviously what I'm seeking. Tit to be. Okay. G T uh, guilt. G I L T. Put gold on something. A uh, gill, something you breathe through. Um, guilty of breathing without hyphens. For a reason, I'm packing it. <laughs> Obviously, and D O B date of birth. Obviously, <laughs> uh, problem fixed. Clamp lamp. <laughs> Reflector. <laughs> it pivots. 